All right, long division. So we're going to start with a single digit divisor. So just we're taking 475, dividing it by 5. So this is something you might not have seen before. And I'm going to put this down. So 475, that means we have four hundreds. And essentially with a divisor, we're saying how many groups of five can we make with any of these things? So, okay, if we only have four hundreds, one, two, three, four, do we have enough to make a group of five? We don't. So we don't normally put this here, but you can, or you can imagine that there's a zero. We were able to make zero groups with these four hundreds. And so what we do instead is we say, well, let's, instead of looking at four, let's look at 47 tens. How many groups of five can we make with 47? Hmm, okay. Well, one group of five, is five. Two groups of five is 10. Five, 10, but we have 47 to use. So we know it's going to be a lot more than that. And you might know your five tables. Well, five, 10, 15, 20, right? You can use your fingers. But essentially, you, can, you might know that nine groups of five is 45. Well, we have enough to make nine groups of five, right? Because we have 47 to use, which is almost 50, and 5 times 10 is 50, so that all makes sense. So we're going to say, okay, well, I can make nine groups of five. So of those 47, I used 45 of them when I made five groups. So another way we can look at this is 47 divided by 5, it's 9. I can make nine groups with two tens left over. And we look at that by going, well, minus. 2 and 4 minus 4 is 0. So just like we could see in our picture, we had 47 to use. We put them in groups of 5, which made 45, and we have two tens left over. So that's exactly what we see here. And you wouldn't always draw this picture. I'm just trying to show you what it looks like because you might have learned this without ever seeing a visual. And I just wanted to make sense what we're doing. Okay, so now that we've done that part, well, we have two tens left over, and we also have five ones. Another way we can think about of this is having 25 ones. And we know we need to make groups of five. So how many groups of five could we make with 25? Well, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. So five times five is 25. So we were able to make five groups, which used exactly five times five, 25. So we have no remainder. And our answer is 95. Now I'm gonna use another example. Let's look over to this one. Um, and we're gonna do this without without the boxes, but I want you to try to visualize this. So we're dividing 186 by six. Now, if we just have 100, are we able to make a group of six with just 100? We're not. So again, you can put it up there or you can imagine this zero. And then we go next door and say, okay, well, let's look at 18 tens instead. So if I have 18, can I make a group of six? I can. 6, 12, 18, 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18. I can make exactly three groups. So I'm going to put the 3 up here, and 6 times 3, 18. So we used all of them. I'm going to put the 0 here, and now we go next door to our 1s. So we bring this down, 6. How many groups of 6 can I make if I have 6? Exactly one group, right? nothing left over, no remainder. And our answer is up top 31.